This lesson will be covering the applying of the basic color sports, so-called Roskrish. Further, I will use Slavonic terms with no provisos. We start this lesson with another flat lay, which shows us all necessary tools and materials. We see the main pigments such as lapis lazuli, French vermilion, titanium white, yellow ochre, some watercolors, cadmium yellow, phthalo green deep, alizarin crimson, cobalt blue and ivory black. Of course you can use your own kit if it close to our color palette. Then you will need a number of brushes. Flat oval brush number 8, round brush number 5, brush for mixing paints, I use filbert synthetic brush number 8, round brushes number 3, 0, 3 zeros, and the more thin you have I use number 12 zeros or 18 zeros, but it depends on the brand. And my favorite filbert brush number 0. Also you should have a harp half round scalpel, dropper, palette of some separate small cups, a convenient usually glass, container for yolk emulsion and a container for water, and a piece of some soft material to put it under your hands. I use a piece of suede. You see me opening the jar with yolk emulsion, which contains egg yolk, one part, water, two parts, white vinegar, about one and a half parts, and several drops of gallipot mastic. I use Mastix furnace by German brand Schminker. It will help to protect paint layer from subsequent erosion, making our paints tauter. Let's take a little bit of golden ochre, then add about two parts of water and one part of emulsion. Make sure the quantity of the prepared paint will be enough for subsequent operation. Stir well as all natural pigments tend to sink to the bottom. The first phase of the work with the paints will be the overlap of the slight ochre paint as the lining. First it will work as a primer for the subsequent layer, giving them the opportunity to lie down more evenly. The second is good to have warm color lining for polychromatic goals. I'll show you a method which I have memorized from my learning experience in architecture college. We called it washing off in Russian Atmivka. You need to put something under the up part of the board, making the angle around 30 degree. And starting from the upper left corner, we overlay our liquid paint by the fast short strokes, so that the paint runs off, remaining in the strip we control. At the same time, the brush hardly touches the surface of the board. Also make sure that it's enough paint liquid on your brush. Do not spare it, otherwise the strokes will be dry and won't work. For this procedure, and for this size of the board, I use round brush number 6. Don't forget to stir the paint.
When finished, remove the stand and lay the board down. Pick up excess paint with a dry brush. Let the surface dry. On the next step, with the same paint, I'll cover the spots which are supposed to be conditionally white, making these areas darker and brighter. Here it is the background, including the halo and the papers of the gospel. As you can see, I start from the narrowest place on the background, then I will go around and come back. It will let me minimize the connection section. Unfortunately, we can't see the scratched lines on the screens, but in reality they are visible enough, so you can easily orient yourself on the image. You need to get the skill of being extremely gentle with your brush. It is impossible not to touch the previously painted surface at all. But we can try to minimize these touches. Try to stretch the paint, taking a good quantity with your brush, but leaving a thin layer on the surface. 